rocket i think i should have be able to show you the jubilant environment here at the mission control center where the entire team is celebrating the launch and the spin stabilized rocket the views from the launcher camera in a few seconds uh, the vehicle will undergo the condition of maximum aerodynamic pressure followed by the motor burnout and we will get you those confirmations shortly the vehicle will experience q max around 15 seconds and at the same time maximum aerodynamic loads will occur just to remind the viewers this is an aerodynamically stabilized vehicle at 20 seconds flight time we have reached mark 5 which means it is flying at five times the velocity of sound and with this the vehicle has achieved hypersonic velocities it looks like we do have successful burnout and the flight trajectory is tracking as per the prediction rocket is now at the altitude of 66 kilometers 67 now we have completed 80 seconds of flight time we are around 34 seconds away from the launch pad and the totally intended trajectory is being followed the present altitude is 75 kilometers as we slowly go towards our target of crossing 80 kilometers and way beyond that uh, nominally we expect to be around 100 kilometers uh, uh, when the peak altitude occurs see the screen views from the mission control center 86 kilometers in altitude we are at 85 kilometers now and uh, slowly and steadily we are reaching our peak altitude uh, if you can see it on the screens the um, altitude profile is being shown around 133 seconds have passed we are very close to the, our peak altitude we are now at around 88 kilometers peak altitude and uh, uh, everything has gone as per we have planned we are very close to the peak altitude now the peak altitude performance has been reached at around 155 seconds and now slowly the rocket will start its descent actually it has just started from 88 kilometers now it has come to around 87.1 kilometer the peak altitude being met this mission today has given a good success, successful satisfactory performance as intended by us ji ha ek safal udan pratham udan vikram s ke liye prarambh bada hi rochak raha ye rocket apne gantavya tak bhi pahuncha aur ab apni altitude ko ghatane ki koshish mein मात्र 70 किलोमीटर की ऑल्टीट्यूड पर अब ये रॉकेट स्थित है दिस रॉकेट अचीव द एपोजी ऑफ 89.5 किलोमीटर दैट इज द पीक ऑल्टीट्यूड अचीव बाय दिस रॉकेट वॉज 89.5। पॉइंट फाइव अवर टारगेट वॉज टू क्रॉस एटी किलोमीटर एज यू ऑल नो एटी किलोमीटर इज कॉमनली डिफाइंड एज द स्टार्ट ऑफ स्पेस सो दिस रॉकेट सक्सेसफुली वेंट इन टू स्पेस एज वी इंटेंडेड एंड नाउ after completing its mission of achieving the peak orbit creating the conditions for the payloads to function and uh, completing its job successfully it is or it is on its way back to a safe splash down in the bay of bengal as we have intended the range right now is 115 kilometers away from shar and we expect it to impact somewhere around 130 kilometers away from shar the whole thing has gone as per planned ye bahut hi khushi ki baat hai ki sky route ki taraf se unke pehle abhiyan mein hi jo unhone plan kiya tha jo humne plan kiya tha wo hum successful rahe aur ab ye rocket apne splash down ke bahut hi nazdeek hai aur hum kisi bhi shan ab splash down 
के करेंगे और ये मिशन सक्सेसफुली अकम्पलिश हो जाएगा आ, हम यहां पर बधाई देना चाहेंगे इन स्पेस को जिन्होंने इस पूरे मिशन को रेगुलेट किया गाइड किया हम बधाई देना चाहेंगे सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्रीहरी कोटा को जिन्होंने जिन्होंने ये हमें फैसिलिटेट किया इसरो को इसरो चेयरमैन को वी थैंक ऑल दिस पीपल वी आर हम्बल्ड बाय द सपोर्ट विच वी गॉट हैप्पी व्यूज फ्रॉम द मिशन कंट्रोल एंड या एंड नाउ वी टेक लीव फ्रॉम यू गुड बाय फ्रॉम अवर साइड हैंडिंग ओवर